Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. In the past, I've done several tutorials on how to extract dynamic lists, some using single criteria, some multiple, etc. I had a request on how to extract a dynamic list based on certain criteria, but have the results be in descending order based on certain values that are within my range. So today we're going to look at how to do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I currently have a guest list, if they're attending or not, and if they are making a donation. And what I want to do is populate this area with those that are making a donation that's greater than $150, but I want the list shown in descending order based on the amount of the donation. So we're going to do this in two steps. We're going to have two separate formulas, one for the donation and then the other one to populate the guest. So for the donation, what we're going to do is use the large function. So I'll type in equals large and it's going to be an if formula and my if formula is going to say if this amount here and I'm going to lock that is greater than or equal to my amount that I have in H1 and again lock that then give me this value and again I'm going to lock that. I'll close that and that gives me my array and then my K number for my large function is just going to be row and I'm going to put 1 1 close that close my large function and I'm going to wrap this in an if error function so that if no results appear I don't get an error i will just get in this case a blank and this is an array formula so I need to enter it with control shift and enter and here I get 220 so that's the largest value that I have in this list I'll copy that down and that gives me the list of donations that are greater than 150 in descending order and I can change this amount to say 75 and it increases that I can change it to 180 and it reduces it down so it's dynamic and it'll automatically adjust as I change the value in cell H1 I'm just gonna put that back to 150 now I need to pull in the guests that match these values. Now notice I have several that are duplicates. 220's there, 195's there. So I have to make sure I get unique matches for those values. And in order to do that, I'm going to enter a helper column. So I'm going to add a column here and we'll just call it helper. And I'm just going to format it the same as I have my column next to that. And what my helper column is going to do is I'm going to concatenate the amount with the count of that amount in this list. So I'm going to say equals, in this case, D2, and I'm going to concatenate that. Now I'm going to use a separator. And my separator, I'm just going to put double quotes, a space, a vertical line, space, and double quotes again. Now this is a trick I learned from Sumit Bansal of Trump Excel. And the reason you want to use a separator, especially when you have numbers, is that if you don't, it's going to just mesh those numbers together and it's going to be hard to tell where one number ends and the next number begins. So you'll see what I mean in a second here. Now I'm going to concatenate that with the count if function. And what I'm going to count is D2 to D2 with the criteria of D2. And I want to lock this first one so as I expand it down, it's going to increase the range that it's going to do the counting in. I'll hit enter and notice I get 195 with my separator of 1. So it's the donation amount and then the count of that within that range. And as I copy this down, You'll see 2051, 251. Now here I have 222. So there's two instances, one for Christopher Taylor, one for Catherine Brown. But my helper value here 
are different. So when I look up 220 and 1 and 220 and 2, I'll get a different result. So now we'll go over to column F and to pull in the guest name, we're going to just use a VLOOKUP formula. So VLOOKUP, my lookup value is going to be my amount concatenated with that separator. So I'm going to have double quote space separator space double quote and concatenate that with the count if function and I'm going to count G2 to G2 with a criteria of G2 and I need to lock that first G2 so again as it scrolls down it expands the range so that is my lookup value. My table array is going to be these two columns here. I'll lock those. I want the column index to be column two, and I want an exact match. I'll close my VLOOKUP formula. Now I'm going to wrap this again in an if error function. So if I do get an error, it just returns a blank. And this is a regular formula. It's not an array formula. It's just a VLOOKUP wrapped in an if error function, I'll hit enter and notice for 220 I get Christopher Taylor which matches. And if I copy those down I have Catherine Brown and Virginia Sanchez which are the next two, Catherine Brown 220 there and Virginia Sanchez down here. So again even though I have the exact same amount it did not duplicate those names. Now I can copy that down and it will fill in the rest of the values and even where there are the same amounts I get the different names for that and again as I change this to say 75 it expands it and populates it accordingly if I made it 190 again it would reduce it dramatically so that's how you can accomplish this in Excel so thanks for watching this tutorial if you found it beneficial please share it like it or give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet Please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day, and happy excelling.